Why am I wearing my microphone on my hat? I have no idea. I saw someone do it one time. Look cool. I thought they were cool. Maybe I look cool. I don't know. Maybe you tell me. This is episode two of a multi-part series of building a 96 volt razor. In episode one, I showed you what it took to build the frame, how to paint it, how to wrap the battery. In episode two, we're going to unbox and install these forks. We're going to unbox and talk about the Midwest Mini Mods swing arm. And we're going to talk about the 12 inch Supermoto tires and wheel set also from Midwest Mini Mods. We're going to talk about the 96 1800 HR controller from Econic Cycles. This is probably the most bad to the bone controller on the market right now. We're also going to talk about the QS 165 50H also from Econic Cycles. Check that sucker out. Let's get into the unboxing. As we open the back of the toy hauler here, this is where I like to do most of my unboxings. These are the 12 inch Supermoto wheels and tires from Midwest Mini Mods. These wheels come double boxed for double protection. Check these suckers out, 12 inches of pure sex. These wheels come with the tires and they also come with the brake discs and a 420 sprocket. On to the next item on the agenda here is the Midwest Mini Mods forks. And as I open these up, I wanna show you exactly how they're gonna come when they arrive at your house. These are purple. I'm gonna dub this panty dropper purple because if you had these on your bike, holy shit, save some for the rest of us. The kit also comes with everything you are going to need in order to install these forks on your modified razor. Here's a little demonstration of just what all comes in the package. One thing I wanna to touch on here is the triple clamps. When we open these things up, look at these things. They are beautiful CNC'd out of one piece of aluminum. Some of the best looking triples in the business. The next thing we're going to unbox is the Midwest Mini Mods swing arm. This swing arm is specific to the QS 165. And when you go to the Midwest Mini Mods website, you can pick what kind of swing arm you want based on the motor that you have. And as I unwrap these, I want you guys to pay attention to the quality. These are also American made from Midwest Mini Mods. They look polished as I unwrap them. I don't have to do anything. Look at the almost a mere finish, beautiful. I'm a sucker for raw aluminum. I don't know about you. Moving on here to the next part we're going to talk about is the bracket that goes in between the two legs. This is going to hold the shock in place. It goes from the swing arm up into the frame where the shock is going to mount. This here is the brake bracket. It's an adjustable brake bracket. It can go back and forth and it adjusts with your rear brake. Right here we're going to go over the frame real quick. Now this is an SX500 frame that I modified in order to accept the battery that we just covered. The frame, I cut the bottom of the frame out as you can see and I used this one inch square tube to elongate the frame section here to accommodate the battery and I have some extra strength members here on the sides. The battery slides in here and then I have this top. This top goes on the battery like this. These wires feed through. It sits on top of the battery and I haven't painted these yet, but these rods are going to go through from the top into the bottom of the frame right here and tighten down so it sandwiches this battery inside this frame. The next thing I wanna do is put the forks on the bike. But before we put the forks in, we are going to replace the head tube bearings. These bearings are from a gentleman by the name of Jim's Bearings. You can look them up online. These bearings will fit the head tube. He has bearings that'll fit the whole bike. If you need something for your wheels, your swing arm pivot, whatever, it could be anything. But I need to put these in. There is a couple different ways to do it. One way to not do it is hit it with a hammer. So don't do that. Here, come over here and I'll just show you how to do this. Come here. If you are using a steering stem like this, this is from the Midwest Mini Mods. This is a 12 millimeter stem. If you're gonna be using this stem bolt or this size, you have to use this insert. Now this insert comes stock on your razor. If your stem tube is 15 millimeters, then just remove that and you'll have a 15 millimeter hole for your stem tube. In this case, we're gonna use the insert because, well, we have to. And what I'm going to do is stick that sucker through like that with the bearing. From there, what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of this grease, not a ton, doesn't take a ton, and I'm just gonna put a little bit on the outside. You don't have to do this. It just helps it go in a little bit easier. Grease that edge up a little bit. If you're trying to put something in a tight spot, you know what I mean, lube it up. Put this sucker back on top. Put our insert in there, sliding it back on, taking our insert that's going to go in the middle of the bearing, put that baby in there like that. All right, we're not done. Here's what we need to do. I'm gonna take this spacer, I'm gonna put the spacer on here like that. And then I'm gonna take 
the nut. It's a 17 millimeter nut and a six millimeter Allen for the top. And then I'm gonna squeeze this together with those two wrenches and then make sure that these bearings get inserted into the head tube nice and evenly. Also, this is an eight millimeter Allen at the top. As I'm doing this, I'm tightening this down. I'm sure people are in the audience are gonna be like, oh my God, don't do it like that. This is how I've always done it and I haven't had a problem. Here it is in 5X speed going in nice and smooth, bam. All right, so we got the bearings in. That was really easy, right? Next step is to put the triple trees and the forks on. The Midwest Mini Mods comes with these fantastic looking billet aluminum triple clamps. Some of the nicest I've ever seen. The stem bolt through the triple tree down onto the bearing, super simple. Comes out the other side, got your other race, goes in, bottom triple tree, goes to the bottom. Slide that sucker on, washer, nut, and that's it. You just tighten it down. Your eight millimeter on the top, your 17 millimeter on the bottom, tighten it down. Next step will be to put the tubes in. I'm new, I'm new. My first day. We'll try that again. As I'm editing this out, I realized I was out of frame for this, but the message I'm giving you is very important. The one thing I'm talking about here in this frame is that the Midwest Mini Mods fork kit does not come with a bar clamp for the top triple tree. So what you're going to have to do is reuse the clamps from your stock razor triple trees for your handlebars. But the Midwest Mini Mods fork kit comes with a longer set of bolts so that you can reuse the clamps. Now, when you're doing this, make sure these five millimeters on the edges are loose and that you have the right fork for the correct side of the bike. Because if you put the wrong side of the fork on, your brake's gonna be on the wrong side. So make sure you got the right fork for the right side. Being loose, slide these suckers up. Make sure they're even on both sides. And the same thing for the other side. Putting the handlebar clamps on is super easy. And every job I do takes me 10 times longer because I dropped every screw at least six times. Guys, I goofed, I goofed. All right, when I put the bearings in, I didn't put this stem tube inside the down tube here. So now I got to take the forks back off, take the bearing back out, put this tube back in and put the bearing back in on top. But the next time you see this video open back up, it'll be done. The Midwest Mini Mod swing arm comes with everything you need to bolt it up to your stock razor frame. It comes with the sides, it comes with all the hardware, it comes with the bolts, it comes with the brake bracket that adjusts with the rear brake as you need to move the axle to adjust your chain tension. Let's put it on. As I'm assembling this, I am using the blue Loctite here. Some people say not to use blue Loctite on aluminum and steel. Some people say not to use blue Loctite on aluminum, aluminum. I don't really know. I don't really care. I don't want my stuff to fall apart. So I'm going to put Loctite on everything. You do you though. Putting this swing arm together, you can see exactly how simple it is. Finishing up the install, I'm going to do the motor in the next episode. We're going to put the motor in, we're going to put the shock on, we're going to put the wheels on, and you guys can see exactly how this swing arm looks. So that's episode two, everybody. Stick around for episode three, where I'm going to install the motor, we're going to do the wheels, we're going to put the battery in, we're going to put the controller in, and put power to this beast for the very first time. I want you to be there for it. I want this to be an educational series. Come back for episode three, guys. You won't want to miss it. Later.